Hey everyone, Jengar here. Welcome to the ninth episode of Sub's Choice, where you decide what I fly by giving me options in the comments of the last episode. In this episode, we'll be flying out the I-185M82, requested by Musamil. We're gonna see what it can do. He requested arcade, so we're gonna fly it out in arcade. I'll see you in the match. Hey guys, so here we are in the match. We have been uh, climbing since spawning and um, we are looking around trying to identify our first target. There are several people up high here. P51 and PF109. A lot of our team is also climbing but here I identify a P51 who isn't that high yet but who is climbing. I'm checking him out and I decide that he is my first target. He doesn't seem to be aware as of yet. Here he does start turning but it's too little too late. Getting my first kill. Now there's a P38 there on the right. And a BF109 above me. I decide to pitch up at him as I still had 500 speed to begin with. Start to shoot early. He thinks the better of it and breaks off, giving me the opportunity to loop over and follow him. He's going into a dive, he's trying to get some shots on that. No, actually he decides to climb. I thought he was going for the King Cobra there, but he is climbing. I'm going full web here after him. Now here is where the exceptional climb rate of this plane comes in. And we are actually gaining on this F model 109. And quickly. And he's starting to stall out there. And I'm peppering him here. And get my second kill. With a pilot snipe. Now we're turning around as we're stalling out using a little bit of rudder got a B25 and some fighters, but the fighters are 7 kilometers away the Yak-9 ally there in the neighborhood here so there are no enemy fighters up high that means we can boom and zoom with impunity here we just gotta keep our eye on climbing planes Especially fighters. Here we got this B25 turning towards me. This is one of the guys I shot earlier, the P51. But I'm not going for a head on with the B25. I decide to climb, and then when I see he can't follow, loop over and dive on him here. We've got a three 20mm SWAT cannons, and they should be enough to cut him to pieces. And they do. Does even take a little longer than I expected. But that's life. Checking our surroundings. As we loop over. I don't see any fighters up high at the moment. No new spawning, spawning bombers as well. Now there on the left. Is a climbing fighter. A BF-109. But he's not aware of me as he climbs. And I get an easy shot on that F4 tropical. Bringing my tally to 4. The key 43 there in the distance. He's not really high enough to be a threat at the moment. And I decide not to go there. I see a P51 here coming up. It's the same guy again. But he gets shot down by my ally there as you uh, you know if there's two guys climbing up and you're aiming at one and you're you take a high risk to be shot by the other guy and that's what he did there that's what happened so we're diving here 
We were thinking about the P38, but we decided to go for the Focke Wolf who was side climbing here a little bit. He's not aware of me. He does hear the bullets fly by, tries to turn, but um, not good enough or too late. And he can't avoid being shot there. We make a loop into the vertical, get a little bit of altitude back. We're still at 4500 meters here. P38 is climbing in a the distance there, on my right. But this Heinkel 111 presents a very juicy target. Even though here the King Cobra on my left there is again coming for me. And he is again being shot by my ally, the Yak 9, who is uh, flying altitude with me here. And the P38 seems to be staying in the far distance there, he's not coming closer, so I try to pick a target here again. The BF109 gets shot though. So he's thinking about the King Cobra here. But I decide not to as I see several planes spawning and they're only two kilometers away. So I would have several opponents higher than me. Now here we take it into a loop. Checking our surrounding one more time before we loop over and dive. We choose this A6M3 as our target. There's a BF109 next to him. But they are definitely going down, they're going after my ally there and they do decide to follow here. I should get some good shots here. Three guys very close together. I do not lead enough though, only get a few hits in. We do get a crit there. And the uh, zero turns off quick enough and I don't want to lose all my speed in a turn. So I decide to extend here. Well that last engagement could have gone better for sure. But the Corsair does go down in the end. We've got a sea hurricane there. One kilometer away. He's not coming for us immediately. But I do miss my shots here. I should have aimed more inside of the aiming reticle because he was coming towards me. I'm doing a snap roll here three times to get out of the way. Got this BF109G here but we don't lead him enough. So we have to turn in to get a shot at him. We miss our shots here, only a hit. And he's going up, we follow him. We did get a glancing hit though from the guy behind us. And that must have been that Corsair there. And it has damaged our engine. Which fails us here. And that's a shame because this match was going pretty nicely. But as you see I, I did get myself uh, low. And you run more risks when you get low. While I was boom and zooming I was basically doing it with impunity. There was nobody that could reach up to us. And people who did died either by me or by... My ally Yak9 there. But once you get low you get into the into the fur ball. And it's not necessary to do that in this plane. Because it's got so uh, it's got a strong climb rate. And um, you're better off up there. Now we decide to land here. See if we can make it to the end of the match. And we bounce up and down. We're going through the trees here, steering a little bit to get more through the trees. Hey, good sir, can I use your phone? I'd like to call up headquarters and they can pick me up. They need to pick me up, I need to get a new plane. Well, that was the match guys. Let's check out the scoreboard.
45,000 silver lions. Almost 4,000, well, 3,600 research points. It's quite nice for the P, the Pesca, Pesca 8. And we got second in the team with that. Terror of the Sky and the best squad. One death, unfortunately. But the landing gave me a death. A crash, apparently. Although I thought it was a pretty nice landing, actually. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now, as you've seen, this plane is ideally suited for boom and zooming. It's got an average to good maximum speed. It's got a great climb rate. It's got good handling in a dive. And it's got a decent turn time. If you look at its cannons, you have three 20mm SWAC cannons, which will finish your opponents off in a heartbeat if they're on target together. Uh, ideally suited that does four boom and zooming, because that's what you want, good firepower, climb rate and high speed handling in a dive, which is all ingredients this plane has. Now if you want you can also transition a little bit into energy fighting, the turn time on this plane isn't bad at all, you can definitely outturn a lot of dedicated boom and zoomers, but if you meet uh, some dedicated turn fighters that will be a problem and that's where you're going to die. So in the boom and zoom style you can basically operate this plane with impunity once you get the altitude and win the fight for control there. Now as to what I used in these battles was the stealth belt for ammunition. I always like the stealth belt in boom and zoom planes. It gives me that little bit of extra time when I'm shooting at an opponent to finish him off before he is alerted to my presence and starts maneuvering making the kill more difficult. So that's what I used as to belts. And that is basically it for the information on the plane. Leave me your requested planes for the next episode. Make sure to vote on uh, requests if they already mention the plane you have. And we'll see which plane wins to be featured for the next episode. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed the video, that you learned something there. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video. You know, those likes really make a difference. Do leave me a comment. You know, I always look forward to the comments every day. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. I really love to have you aboard and don't feel shy to leave me some comments. I always try to respond to them. So again, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.